All right, let's read some advertising here. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, Jesus, these people are new. Soothe. If you play sports or work out a lot, talk about how sore you can get from that and how it can trigger injuries. Why, why isn't this shit ever edited out of the fucking reading? Well, I played golf this weekend. It's uh, this week. It's not really a sport. It's an activity. I felt fine after it. Certainly after I fucking sank that 30-footer. Uh, I do work out. I fucked up my, uh, my shoulder. You know? Yeah, it's annoying. Did I talk about it long enough? All right. Lead into your personal endorsement. Talk about your personal experience with your soothe massage. I don't even know what it is. I haven't, I haven't, how relaxed you were afterwards. How easy it was to book, how excited you are for the next booking, etc. All right, now, now that after they wrote me all, I guess I'm supposed to look at this shit before I do this. Soothe is an on demand massage service. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Do you get to see what your masseuse looks like? Are you swiping left? What's going on here? Huh? Soothe is an on-demand massage service that delivers a hand-selected, licensed, and experienced massage therapist to you in the comfort of your own home, hotel, or office in as little as an hour. Soothe shows up. I'm sure these people are above board, but you know there's always a couple of dirty cops out there that'll take bribe money. Soothe is an on-demand... I already read that. Um... Soothe shows up with everything. They bring the massage table, the sheets, the oil, and even music to drown you out at the end. Oh, so you can unwind no matter where you are. I'm sorry. I'm being really immature. Really immature. This is all above board. There's no fucking way we would, we would do something like that. You choose the kind of massage you want from Swedish to and sport to deep tissue and more. They're just fucking lobbing this open the net. You can even opt for couples massages. All right, here we go. Getting a little fucking freaky. Set the length of your massage and uh, get to also pick the gender of your therapist. All right, for the homophobes out there. Therapists can earn over three and a half times what they make at a spa while maintaining incredibly an incredible schedule. Flexibility. That means you can even book a massage for 10 p.m. on a Wednesday. This also brings the best therapist to the Soothe Network. You can book via the iPhone or Android app on the web. Soothe is in 50 cities, including most major U.S. cities and London, Sydney, Melbourne, Toronto, and Vancouver. Uh, book a massage as soon as today. Our listeners are getting a special offer that will get you $20 off your first massage when you use our code BURR, download Soothe, S-O-O-T-H-E, or so the, um, in the iOS app store or Google Play Store, and be sure to use our code BURR to get $20 off your first massage. Soothe, spa quality massage, anytime, anywhere. You know, if they can legalize weed, why can't they just legalize a hand job at the end of a fucking massage? You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. And just so, like, the women wouldn't get all fucking upset. Because, God, they should have some for women, too. But I'm just saying, like, oh, my God. Well, it starts with that. And then what? You're touching her. Just have them strap you down like a fucking lobotomy patient. And, you know, and then that's it. Then you can't touch them. Right? Um, do you know how much more peaceful the fucking world would be if every guy started the day with a massage and a fucking hand job? Do you know how much more we would listen to you? I mean, and I don't mean to be a fucking asshole here, but ladies, we've been asking you to do this for us for years. And evidently, you know, after two, three months into the relationship, it's, out, it's, it's not your pay grade anymore. Okay? And what's funny is you, can, you, can, you, I, you fucking ladies are going to come at me like I'm a fucking animal, despite the fact you know this is how guys are wired, and you use it to your advantage whenever you want to fucking round a drench. You fucking let the girls out a little bit, right? You look at somebody just long enough for them to fucking throw down their card. You get your drink, and then you go, oh, excuse me, I have a very important call over this way where that table just opened up. Um, yeah. And if elected, hand jobs at the end of massages would be made legal, provided the male was strapped down by the wrists. <laughs> um, and you could have like an express 
massage window when you don't have time for the full body massage and you just pull up like those drive through Starbucks with like your dick out and some, some chick just reaches out and fucking rubs one out. There you go. Then you fucking drive to work. You know, of course you're stopping at the yellow light at that point. What the fuck do you care? You know, I hope women don't get offended by this. I, who's kidding? Who? I don't give a shit if you do or not. But, you know, rather than look down at men, why don't you understand, you know, and try to have empathy and understand what it is that we're going through? Oh, my God, that would be fucking tremendous. Drive through fucking massage. You know what I mean? And then, you know, this is what would shut it down. Some dope would also try to add a coffee machine to it. And eventually someone would spill coffee on their dick. And that would be just a fucking lawsuit that would take the whole industry down. All right. I don't know. I'm, I'm just brainstorming here. All right. Me undies. Oh, do 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 do. Me undies. Me undies. Why can't you rub one out? Boo do do do. Me undies. Me undies. I'll keep quiet. I won't shout. If we can be legal, why not hand jobs? And when you come in your fucking soft shorts, oh, Jesus, it went off the rails. So there you go. I had to do with something free massage because I lost another advertiser. I can't believe it. I put my fucking heart and soul into these fucking reads. You know, I could go monotone. I could just read what they wrote. I could just do what they want. But you're not going to listen. And I know this. The show must go on, even if I'm reading fucking advertising. But those fucking cunts over there. The masseuse people, that was a one and done. How dare you bring up hand jobs at the, at the end of the, of the massage reads? What the fuck are you talking about? That's a huge part of your industry. Either you're doing it or you're not doing it. What the fuck? It's like you're, you're in food, you're selling some sort of food, and I bring up trans fat, like that's not a big fucking issue. That is a hot button issue that, that, is, that, that needs to be brought up in front of Congress. And I, I stand by that. If you can legalize weed at a state level, you should be able to legalize a hand job at the state level. Okay? Now, if the feds come in and she's got your dick in her hand, you're on your own. All right? You're on your fucking own. You're Joe Pesci and Goodfellas. Oh, no. Right? That's it. That's it. All right? Ladies, it doesn't mean anything to us. Doesn't mean anything. If you ever saw the look on the woman's face when she's doing it, I mean, I swear to God. I swear to God. Like, it's just like she's, she, I don't know, she's thinking of fucking zillion other things. Which is probably usually where you go. That's probably your safe place, you know, when you're fucking employed in the sex industry. Um, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So because I brought that up, which was funny enough to make people listen, they walked away from all the fucking massages that my listeners would have got. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. A third of them would have been expecting some sort of uh, hand release at the end of it. So maybe maybe that's okay. I, I'll take that. Okay, I, I will take that part of it. All right? But I'm getting tired of these, these, these the, the blue aprons, the nature boxes. You know, they're all good when the sun's out. The second they see a little bit of rough water, what do they do? They fucking pull up stakes, those fucking phony bastards, okay? And they take their aprons and their fucking twats and they go to somebody else's podcast. And I'll tell you right now, I've had enough of it doing my, my gosh darn just over here to try to put a little bit of money in your pocket, you know? How many people do you think at that fucking massage place have actually gone to a massage parlor and gotten fucking jerked off? How many? You know what I mean? Fucking up. Jeez, don't, don't get me fucking started, you know? 